Okay, I'm going to use this example uh, that they had from the news of a man who weighs 100 kilograms killed a girl. And I'm going to use this explanation, to, uh, this example, to explain the difference between mass and weight. So the question is, and what people always mistake, is the difference between what is mass and what is weight. So that guy has a mass of 100 kilograms, but his weight is actually mass times acceleration due to gravity. Mass doesn't change no matter where we are. We always have 100, he only has 100 kilograms, and it changes depending on what the acceleration due to gravity is. So here in Alberta, we're at 9.81 meters per second squared versus sea level, which is 10 meters per second squared. Once again, mass does not change here, but your weight does fluctuate. Okay, so the acceleration due to gravity is, at sea level is 10 meters per second squared, but we don't live at uh, sea level. We're here in Alberta, so ours and our number is a little different. Our number is 9.81 because we are much uh, we're um, we're higher in elevation than at sea level and so our gravitational field strength is lower okay so the actual weight of this guy at if he was here in Alberta is 1000 uh, 100 kilograms times 9.81 meter per second squared then what we end up getting is we get uh, 981 kilogram meters per second and this is converted to what we call newtons and this is actually what we weigh yeah, he weighs at 981. How much does he weigh at um, Victoria where this occurred at sea level? So at sea level where this unfortunate incident occur, you have, um, it's still the same formula, mass times acceleration of gravity, so 100 uh, kilograms times uh, 10 meters per second squared equals 1,000 newtons, and that would be at sea level. So the man with a mass of 100 kilogram weighs in Alberta 981 newtons and at sea level 1000 newtons so he actually weighs heavier at sea level very few of us actually describe ourselves in uh, in newtons but that's actually the correct way so some of you might think it's kinda cool I weigh 1000 newtons or 981 newtons versus uh, the equivalent of 100 kilograms Okay.